I caught my wife in a hotel room with someone and that person was no one else. But my brother, when I saw this, I did what I could do to ruin the life of my wife. Life gives you words, my friend. And this is something I'm telling you with my personal experience. If you're going to believe me, that will surely save you from many harms in your life. But if you will act ignorant in this very important matter, you will be the one to face its consequences. I'm going to tell you something very important. But before that, I would like to ask you if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you can get such stories on daily basis and do press the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the story of one of my friends. So please listen to this story until the very end. So you can know what exactly happened. So my friend says that I'm telling you because I have faced pain in my life and who is ever going to walk through my place. They have same marks on his soul and on his conscience, I'm warning you that life is a horrible thing. You know, you can live in one character or another. But if you choose to be yourself, I wish you good luck for all the miseries and catastrophes in your life. From where should I start my unending regret? I guess I should start from nowhere and leave it in the middle because no sin person can earn anything from my suffering. This would be of a psychopath. Yes, I am a psychopath of my very own nature. I tried to live a normal life like any other ordinary person but could not succeed in that. I married the woman that I loved who was as charming as one's beloved can be. She was fresh like spring air and her smile was like the winter sunshine. She bloomed as a flower of hope in my life. Hope, which is the worst in all diseases specifically when it is transferred from a particular person, a poisonous flower of hope to in the yard of my life and it cheered me up with its positive fake appearance. I held it in my hands very delicately and treated with all the cure and love. I could give it. I didn't know it could be poisonous, such delicate and fragile ornament of nature, deserve nothing but love and care. I made a mistake in my life that led me to the circumstances like this. I forgot that Lord never cared how beautiful he made a thing. You know, he just made it and it gifted that created the evil of willpower and the love to fulfill his desires, an animal with any case to eat, drink and be merry man is a lustful creature. So was her, her lips were like the paddles of roses. And on side of them could make one dream to put the two drops of his gum on those paddles. Her hair were like pencil and anyone could get ready to strangle himself. Among them, her eyes were not more intriguing than her tits, but their shine was full of toxic hope. Her neck could be the best example for pot makers. They are welcome to make one copy of it from their art. But I know they will fail. It could be the best for a sloppy blowjob keeping in view if she have a gag reflex or not. Her bob of bosoms, you know, they were like so round as a moon on the full moon night. Her body was lean but she was thick from perfect sides. One can spang out of her and he will desire for more and more. After all these things, there comes the passport of heaven in the middle of her legs. One can have it by having a mirror. Look on her thighs and believe me and bring your winging on her is no less than a trip to paradise. I'm proud that I have been there in that paradise, but now I regret she was submissive in her nature and I was dominant in mine. Think of a perfect beauty M and yes, if we were the best example of it, she me to debt on my command. What could a man can earn in his one life more than this? I can tell you one thing for sure. Christian Grey should take classes from me. Her still was not that satisfied from inside. Believe me, I could sense it from the look of her face. She had to fake her at any other random girl feels like I'm bragging a lot on my skills. But the question is what I have earned from all this, an ultimate queen of seduction and a goddess on the bed. I popped the cherry on our wedding night and that was the opening ceremony of my very own heaven. 
Things became more interesting when I get to know that she is a masochist. I ordered all the sex toys and PD's M stuff from internet. I changed the lighting of my room and I fixed red bulbs in order to make it look like a brothel whenever it is required. When finally my parcel arrived, I did whatever I could to I tightened her legs wide open on the opposite sides of bed and then fell to the point where she got faint when she woke up. She told me that I fulfilled the desire of her life. I tried all kind of tortures on her once I started my foreplay with an ice cube going through all of her body and leaving it on the top of her. Click to melt. I tried it with the ice cream too. Jesus. It was fun to lick the cream on ice cream. Never tasted any better than that. In, in my life we were living in a joint family so I had to keep all such things secret from the rest of my family. Obviously, who would like to tell his father that he is a slave of our woman's? I have a younger brother who was a year younger than me. All his focus was his workout. He was muscular guy, having all the qualities a woman can ever think of. He may not be skillful in sex like me, but he could please any woman he wanted to. I often ask him for the vitamin supplements and the medicine to increase timing. He helped me a lot in it. Sometimes I shared my personal stuff with him too. Once I went to attend an office meeting in Miami and I took my wife and brother with me because I was given enough travel allowance and they booked a suite for us in a well-known hotel too. That was it changed my life forever. I never got to know that there exists some chemistry in my brother and my wife whenever I had a second thought like that. I ignored it, considering myself a close person. We were there for a week and I was on my work from morning till light noon. I trusted my wife and my brother that they can never betray me because I was loyal to both of them on the respective position in my life. They chose to betray me and they hit me on the place where it could hurt the most. They demolished the walls of trust around me. On the last day before leaving, I entered in our suite which was given to us. I opened the door and heard the voices of her moan for a moment. I thought no way she could be masturbating here while the brother is present in the same hotel room. I moved forward to the door and observed that there is someone else who is getting out of breath because of continuous struggle. I got worried because I knew that there is someone else digging a mine in my cave. I opened the door and saw my brother having sex with my wife in a missionary position. I saw them and they looked back at me. Their faces grew pale as they were caught red-handed. I closed the door and yelled at them have a fun fucking cheaters. This was nothing but a devastation of my whole personality. I was continually thinking for a revenge in my mind for both of them. I booked another hotel room for spending that night, I went there and I checked all the documents and stuff. After a while, an evil idea came into my mind and I made arrangements to execute my idea. I checked the expiry date of visiting Giza and I made arrangements that it was the one day after our arrival at home, I cancelled the tickets and made them suffer. This could not buy revenge. So I did the was that done? I took help from one of my colleagues working in Miami and told him all the story. I offered him money to execute my friend and he accepted my offer. When I came back to my own town, my friend filed a case against them in court that an illegal couple is living in a hotel suite which is becoming a threat for people living in that area. They have no nationality and they might have committed serious crimes in any other area of world giving hostage to them without any legal documents would not be less than a threat. The court approved his UNO statement and lived in jail for a year after a year when they deported them to their hometown. I divorced her and made her to leave my house immediately. I'm in peace for the village I took but the fire of being cheated is still burning my inside. 